to record you. So the city of Boca Raton keeps on harassing me, me being a black man. I went over to a public building. Okay. Okay. They've done this before. Officer Glass harassing people. Taxpayers pay for these buildings. Everyone has a right to enter a public building. We're going to go right over here to the officer that basically just kicked me out of a public building. I was talking to the receptionist, letting the receptionist know that I was not going to continue with the lawsuit because the police left me alone. As I'm telling her this, this officer in this squad car right here approaches me. Okay, and I got it on video. So at this point, he says, do you have business over here? I'm like, this is a public building, isn't it? Literally, I'm telling the receptionist, I decided not to go through with the lawsuit because the police, up until this point, had stopped harassing me. The cop goes on further to say that he got a call. They don't want me to go in. No one knows my name. I haven't committed a crime. Then the cop proceeds to ask me for ID. You're never going to get ID. I haven't committed a crime, right? So I was also telling the receptionist at the front, I'm getting ready to get a business license, okay? I told her because of the way that I was treated, I'm deciding it to not get the business license here in Boca Raton or the state of Florida. And I'm further explaining to the person at the front desk, I do nature photography. Okay. I'm building a website as we speak currently. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a pre-sale already and everything. Because the level of discrimination that I have experienced in Boca in a month and a half, I've only been here for a month and a half, the level of discrimination you guys you guys will be sued. I got three videos of discrimination. Your officers cannot explain why they keep on approaching me. So what I would like to do, we're going to go back over there. Since you're the chief of police, let's go back over there and talk to the officer that just kicked me out of a public building for no reason. He doesn't have a reason. I, I understand your concern. Okay. okay. And you're the chief. What's your name? It's Michelle Muccio. Okay. I didn't know who the chief of police was. I'm not I'm not interested in police, right? But when but when you when your officers consistently harass a black man, you guys lie and say, what's well, not racism? How is this not racism? Can, can I ask you a question? Go right ahead. If, if somebody calls us and says that they're concerned and and I'll look in to see if they call well, No, I, I want to walk back over there right now because well, this is the second time this has happened. And, and I, I appreciate what you're saying. Um, I have to go to a meeting, mm -hmm. but is, if Officer Glass is still No, here? it's a different officer. So the fact that they've been directed to call the police every time I enter the building is very concerning to me. Well, very concerning to me and very troubling. Under, okay, they're not under my purview. The city. But you're the chief of police. I, I am, and I'm in charge of the police department. So, so what I want to know is, who gives the order? Because I haven't, I haven't committed a crime. Mm -hmm. So what, what ends up happening? The first time I showed up at the building was like a month now ago, okay. because Officer Glass approached me, which I have that on video. Okay. He approached me, and I told him to get away from me. You have no reason to even have a conversation with me. Why are you even approaching me? There's nothing friendly about the police. When this, when this type of behavior happens, this is why we need to defund the police. Because when you have an excess of police that's running around harassing black men for no reason, harassing black men for no reason, he doesn't, they don't have a valid reason to why they keep on harassing me. There's no valid reason all right. at all. Then my recommendation to you would be to file a complaint. So why can't we go over there so you know who the officer all, all I want you to do is know who this officer is. I'll, I'll I, I, no, I want, I want to go with you so he can see my face and that I talk to you. Because this, at this point, is unacceptable. And they think that this is actually funny. This isn't funny. So I think the problem here is that they feel like you're going to keep on harassing homeless people and they've assumed that I'm homeless, right? But I would urge you guys to look at the city of Ocala, Florida, when the homeless people sued the city and won. And that was very recent. So they need to explain to you. No, no, that's not, that's not how this is going to 
gonna go. I'm whoa, whoa, just, I, I want to know who, I, you know. So, where did that officer go? Now, he wasn't doing business. We got it on video. He said he was called on me. The video doesn't lie. We, we just want, we want, the chief wants to know who he is. I can see who. I look at the car number. No, we need, we need his face. Let's get his face. Okay. Like I said, you know, this isn't going to, you're, you're not directing this. No, right I just now. want you to see him. I want you to see him. I, I will see the officer. I can see the car right there. I have to go to a meeting. I will get the officer's car number and I will let him know that I met with you. You met with me and I really would like the harassment to stop every time I enter this building. It's not like they're going to prevent me from being on city property. They tried to do it over there. It didn't I, work. They're not going to be able to do it. I understand. Just so you know. And I would hate for the video to go to the news. I would hate that. Listen, stuff happens every day. I'm sorry you feel like you're harassed. Okay. Feel like it. It's on video. <laughs> okay, you said twice. Correct. Correct. Two times. Correct. But we figured out today, every time I enter this building, okay. they call the police. Well, that's, that's not... That's, that's not, not standard. Me. That's not standard procedure, though. Okay, that's not on me. I'll look into it. Uh -huh. Okay? That's what I'm telling you. And one more thing, before, before we go. Mm -hmm. I just want to make this statement, since you're the chief. The police's job is to fight crime. The police's job is not to determine who anyone is. That's not your job. Your job is to fight crime. Your job is not to identify black people. That's not your job. Our job is to protect and serve. Correct. And so, until, so until until you guys... Us, if somebody mm -hmm. calls us uh -huh. because they want us, they want our help, we're going to come to it. Like I said, I'm going to look into it. But right now, like I told you, I have a meeting... I got the car number is 460. Is this? Yeah, that's the, that's the car that he pulled up in. This uh, isn't the officers. No, though. these aren't the officers, but the the officer, he was standing right here. Um and that's not that's not their car. No, this this one. This is. one right here. Okay. I just would like for the harassment to stop. All right, I'll, I mean, I'll, I will listen. I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to find out what happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, the universe works in very mysterious ways because how is it that this happened to me today and then I'm walking and then I run into you? Interesting. Interesting. And I believe in Buddhism too. Okay. So there you go. You have a nice day, ma'am. Happy Thanksgiving. Same to you. And that may be the officer right there, actually. Okay. That's him right there. So you two, we have the officer right there. He's talking with the chief. I'm on my way out. Officer thought it was a good idea for him to harass me because I'm in a public building. Yeah. It backfired on him. YouTube, we're signing off. Thanks and have a great day.